in my states i am ranked first and nationwide i am ranked third overall in 2025 with him my name is Alok Kogetrud and I'm 16 years old. I attended UCC College. I come from Kwara State and I scored 373 in 2025 UTM. Ever since I've been hearing about the UTM, all I've been hearing is that this UTM is a very hard exam that to pass it, you have to put in a lot of effort that it's hard to get above 300 in the UTM. So since then, I had made this my goal that when I write the UTM, I'll score above 300. So I started taking little steps to achieving that goal. I started practicing past questions and all. So when I got to SS3 and the UTM was fast approaching, I knew I had to put some more effort into my studies. And my school too, they really helped a lot because they held a lot of classes for us. So at times we get to school as early as 6.30 a.m. or 7 and then we are leaving around 6 p.m. in the evening. And they also held weekend classes for us and nice classes in which we were able to learn a lot in the school. And also, my school used the test driller app to train us for the UTME. That was even how I started using it to, to practice for the UTME. I remember the first practice test I took on the UTME for the UTME. I scored 246 and I wasn't really happy about it because it was far away from what I was expecting and it was far away from my goal because and my mom has always told me that I should aim for the best. So even if I fall short, I won't fall too far from what I was aiming for. So I didn't relent. I kept on practicing. I put some more effort into my studies. And before I knew it, I was getting above 300 in the UTM practice test. I used the classroom feature, the practice for UTM feature, the performance analysis feature, and also the games feature. So the classroom feature is just like a classroom where like the, the topics are there so you can just go there to practice and after you take a quiz after each topic to move on to the next level the practice for UTME feature is just like taking a full length practice test because it has the same interface as the real jump exam so if you use it it won't give you that much problem during the real jump exam and the performance analysis feature after taking a practice test on that performance analysis section you will see how well you've performed the areas you still need improvements on and also you will see the time you spent on each subject the game feature just a way of cooling myself down after reading i just take it i use it for fun and also even while playing those games you can still learn a lot so my favorite feature in the test dealer app is the performance analysis section because that section it shows you your performance in each subject it also shows you the percentage of hours you've performed in each subject and it also shows you the time you've spent in each subject so you know which subject you need to focus more on on time management so that you need to increase your speed on and i also like it a lot because under each subject it classifies it topic by topic so it shows you how well you've performed on each topic so with that i know what topic i need to put some more efforts in what topic i need to understand better for me to perform better in the exam i read the mock jump also and the day of the mock jump there were a lot of delays well i don't know what caused this but there were a lot of delays and i was feeling a little bit anxious and nervous because i had not seen the jump exam before so when I started the exam, it was also taking another practice test on the test driller app because the interface was very similar to the test driller app. So, so I felt much more collected and calm. So I was able to write the exam successfully. And when my mock jump results came out, I got 358. So I felt more confident in myself that if I could get that in the mock jump, I should be able to get it in the real exam also. So I just put in more effort into my studies and the areas I thought that I didn't quite understand in the mock jump, I studied it better for better understanding. So when I checked my UTM score and I realized that I got 373, I was really happy and I was really grateful to God because it was by His grace that I got that score. And at first, I was anxious about checking it because of the mass failure that was recorded in the year. But then I felt more, I felt a little bit confident because I knew that I did this well and I knew that I had done something so I, so when I checked my results and I saw 373 I was really happy. I discovered the test dealer app from my school because it uses it to train in CTM candidates and also I've also been seeing it online through my personal research as one of the best apps to study for the UTM. I studied an average of 5 to 6 hours per day when playing for 1025 UTM. So whenever I read, I take a lot of breaks in between my reading so I'll be able to calm down and I'll be able to get myself so I'll be able to understand better. And also there's a technique called active recall. I use this a lot so it goes like this. So after I finish reading, then after some time, I try to ask myself the questions again to see if I still, if I still remember what I have read. And also I use, I use past questions a lot. I answer a lot of past questions and when I answer it, I don't just like answer that question and leave it i try to go to the topics those questions are under i try to understand the concepts behind those questions and also i try to understand how the question is structured so i'll be able to understand this better and and also i use something called mnemonics so mnemonics is just like 
looking for short forms for long things so you'll be able to understand this. something like Roy Brief or Mr. Niger Card. yes those are mnemonic so if you use that you'll be able to understand all these long concepts better so you won't even have to be stressing or trying to remember it again because I've already you have something that your brain already uses to understand it so when I go to the exam of the first thing I did was to pray to ask God for his guidance and for his direction and after that when I started the exam I answered English language first followed by chemistry so I'd have enough time to answer my physics and math so after I was done with English language and chemistry i had one hour and some extra minutes for for physics and mathematics and also for calculation based questions in physics and mathematics i would say that if a question looks like it didn't take a lot of time like if the question is too voluminous i would say that you should skip it and then later if you have enough time you can come back to answer it so that you'll be able to answer other questions i will not waste too much time on that question and for physics too i would say that you learn a lot of the formulas in physics so so even if you see a question you already know what formula you're meant to use so you don't have to be thinking of which formula i'm meant to use for this question so you should always know so you should learn a lot of formulas for physics i wasn't able to answer all my questions within the two hours i still had about two questions left in the mathematics section but i made sure i picked something there so i didn't just leave it blank i made sure i picked something so i was able to answer all the questions so i think the problem that we have with english language is that we underestimate it because we think that it's just English language that we speak it every day that how else could it actually be in the exam but what we actually feel to understand is that the English language that comes out during the UTM is different from the ones that we speak so I think that if we want to improve performance on the UTM English language section and we need to put in more efforts that we should see English language just like any other subject so we should put in more efforts we should practice a lot of questions we should learn a lot of vocabularies and also we should learn all the rules of Concord the grammatical rules and also phonetics yes we should also focus more on phonetics because it's also a problem that we have with english language so if we're able to learn that i think that we should performance in english language should be improved my parents played a huge part in my success because i did a lot of online study and for that i needed a lot of money and data and then they were always there to provide this for me and they were so supportive they supported me in prayers and everything my name is uh, mrs olaro for adenike i'm olaro for gertrude simon I'm a Olaipo, engineer Olaipo, Baba Tunde, Jethro's dad. Okay, I want to appreciate God for Gertrude's success. Actually, I've always believed in the fact that if you, if you have faith enough to believe that you can excel, you will definitely excel. And I believe that there is no limit you can get. Uh, there's no limit you can get to in life if you have enough faith to carry it. Gertrude has always been the studious type. She likes to study, and uh, as parents, we've always encouraged her in any of our academic uh, prowess. So when she when she was studying for champ we especially when she first uh, went for her mock exam she scored very well she scored 358 and uh, when she came back home we discovered that if she could score uh, 358 in mock definitely she can attain more when she writes uh, the final uh, jump exam so we what we told her was that in life you see you need to be you need to look ahead then don't put a limit on yourself you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you as a Christian you should look ahead and aim for the best that was what we told her we didn't tell her to aim for a higher score. We told her to go for 400. To her, it seemed it was impossible, but with God, all things are possible. So, and to the glory of God, I, she, when she went for the exam and the results came out, we were, you know, we were surprised because. Um, it was a higher score than what she scored in the mock but we are most grateful to god because it's one thing to study it's another thing for you know
for you to receive help from above. She studied, but God helped her. I believe there are other students there too who studied very well, but something along the way happened. So success is not in one thing the way I see it. And I want to appreciate God for the app she used in studying. I believe the school introduced them to the Ted uh, Driller app. And that was how, uh, what she used in studying. All we did was to make the internet uh, available for her to study. She she's always been the type that like to make research even while studying. She doesn't rely on, you know, past questions alone. She goes online to make research here and there to make sure she has uh, updated information about what she's studying. So I give God all the glory. It was a welcome surprise. She aimed for the best and God helped her. So all glory goes to God. Ever since she has been in primary school, I've been nurturing her towards this uh, achievement. I make sure that I spend no matter how, 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 how I'm done uh, financially, I still make sure that I send her to school, nice school. I, so she was going to Catholic school, from Catholic school, primary school, Catholic school, secondary school, Catholic school, but immediately we left Adriki when we got to learning here, we were looking for another Catholic school. But the Catholic school we were able to get was very, very far from our home. So we had to look for another missionary school they could, so that they could help us to groom her, in, in, both academically and uh, spiritually. But we were able to get a nice school too, apart from Catholic that they have been, she's been attending. So we did not look at the, the money we are paying for, this, for the school fees. We make sure that our target is for our tomorrow to be okay. And we, we thank God that we are able to get what uh, we have been grooming her for. We give God all the glory for that. Okay, the school, uh, Hill City Schools, they introduced the test driller app to, to them. I think they started studying with the app since when they were in in, um, I think maybe third term of their SS2. So they started preparing them for JAM and even their GCE exam, which they wrote towards the end of the year. So uh, it was the school that introduced it to them. And I believe it was a good app. Uh, it was a good thing because the previous set to use the same app and they came out you know, uh, outstanding in their jump. So I guess that was the reason why they reintroduced it to their cell, uh, their, their own set as well. So, uh, uh, so me, <laughs> when we were in school, those days, <laughs> nothing of that sort. We, it was uh, that time, it was uh, paper based. So we knew nothing about the test driller, but then when she told me about test driller, I said, okay, all I wanted was that whatever that we do to make you to achieve what we wanted you to achieve, that is highest mark in that jam. Don't mind, we don't care. We usually back you up. So she now told me about the data to assess this. I said, no problem. I kept giving her the money. Whenever she has for the data, we kept giving it to her. All what we wanted there was just for her to come out very uh, successful in whatever she does academically. But uh, thank God that we are able to, uh, she was able to give us what uh, we wanted. We give God all the glory for that. Okay, I want to appreciate the test driller app for appreciating, uh, for recognizing Gertrude's performance. I really appreciate them a lot. They've been there since when the results came out. They were at the school and they've come to, you know, to 
appreciate her as well. I want to thank them for the award. It's been, it's been so nice to have them around. And I, I believe the app is, um, is the best to use in uh, studying for jam because not because they've come to recognize get rid but because i've seen the results of others who use the app like in their school they had a hundred percent success in jump and it was the test driller app they're using them preparing them for that so i believe the test driller app is a good way to begin in studying for jam and to get a better result it's better you start preparing uh, your child or your students with the app even before uh, the exam first we like to uh, really very very grateful for making these apps available for students uh, the, the, the test really has been of help, help, of help to so many students that have access to them. And I discovered that not so many students uh, uh, knew about uh, this test driller because the, our former location, they called me when they discovered what she made in a jump, that uh, they want her to come around and coach their students and um, give their student lecture. Concerning her, she was able to achieve that mark. And I promised them that uh, she will surely come around whenever they call upon her. That uh, I was not telling them about test drillers. They said nothing of that sort. That is in the kitty state. They said they don't even have access to all these things. So I advised the, uh, the test driller to let them, to let all the, candidates get to know so as to assist them in the future so one of my biggest motivations my parents and my siblings because they're one of my biggest motivations they drive me to excel academically they believe in me so i know that if they believe that i can do it i know that i can do it my school and my teachers today actually played a huge part of my success too because there were a lot of sacrifices that they made for us because sometimes we get to school very early and then we leave late and they also have their own families but then they sacrifice their time just to teach us my teachers they were always there for us if we needed any explanation in any topic we could just go and meet them and then they were always there to answer the questions for us so i would really like to thank the test for this award and for this recognition i am truly grateful may god bless you